Affinity finally has image trace. Yay. Can you feel the love tonight? Anyway, so what we're going to do is select this image here. This is a PNG, but you can do this with any raster based graphic like a JPEG as well. And we're going to go up to vector down to image trace and it brings up the panel. It's, uh, it's very simple. We get a couple of sliders and then what we can do is just drag these around. And you can see how the preview changes in real time. So the curve fitting tolerance is how much it's going to match the original. And then the edge threshold will determine how the edges look. This isn't actually making a massive difference, but what we can do is if we zoom in, we can click either of these two options down here and we get a split preview. And this is really cool. So if we hover over this and click and drag, we can actually see the difference. So adjusting those two sliders, the difference is very subtle here. I think because it's a higher res graphic, you know, if you've got a really low res graphic, it's going to maybe make more of a substantial difference. But here I can see the original version versus my trace. So that is a rather lovely feature. And we just have to click here, no split view, and then it gets rid of it. Now, once you're happy with your trace, click apply. And this is now a vector graphic and it's all grouped together. So we can go in here. In fact, we could even ungroup this with command or control shift and G. And the great thing about this trace is it's remembered the colors as well. So we could now go and uh, change this. I know, let's go and make this white and we'll make that red. Let's go with the, let's go with the Adobe colors. <laughs> Ooh, controversial. So yeah, depending on how much detail your starting image has is going to determine the tracing result. The higher quality the image, the better trace you're going to get. And there we go. That is the image trace feature in Affinity.